many of us currently serve or have served in some type of political or elected position? Okay, and that could be student government, that could be something. How many of us, how many of us have an aspiration to serve in some type of political um, position? Or continue in one? Okay, great, so we have a few, so about half of our room, good. So for those of you that currently aren't in political positions, but want to be, now you get to be put on the spot because you raised your hand. <laughs> what are some things that maybe have held you back or some reasons why you currently aren't in political office? I lost. You lost. Okay. <laughs> That's a big one, right? So you attempted, which is excellent. Good. And so are you going to try again? So that is the excellent response we want to see. Okay. Um, I'm not uh, trying to find any political office because I'm still a student, and um, once that's done, um, I get a solid job. We can... Good. So timing, timing in your life, okay? Uh, well, often for me, and I think a lot of women do this, we look at our resume and we don't think it's good enough, or um, we want to meet more of the qualifications. So sometimes, um, you know, like we have imposter syndrome, which we talked about today, it could be part of that too. I'm just a college professor who's incompetent, according to my colleagues, so you can do it too. Okay? Anybody else? I just don't know where to begin. Yes. Okay. I'm lost. Good. Are you going to go again? No. Well, I'm way too old, but I'm going to be 80. That's a little too old. Um, I won't tell you the oldest age of our council. Okay, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you. When I lost, I realized that, that was not my role. I'm not a compromiser, I, and I know we need compromisers in those positions. I'm better in the background, doing strategy, doing advising, because if, I, if there's an issue that is so dear to me, and I owe somebody a vote, and they're pulling in that vote, I can't do that, and I know that we need people that can do that. And I will tell you that that is one of the most important roles for people who are in elected positions. My voice, people post stuff on Facebook, slander, harassment, lies. I can't say anything because of my position, because then I'm representing the city in my response. But there, I have allies. Oh, I have some fierce ones. They get on Facebook and they're just slamming people with facts left and right. Um, and we need those individuals. I'm also somebody who, on my college, I've been a faculty negotiator for our contracts, and I'm not an elected member of our uh, faculty association because I'm, I'm a great background person for that. I make wheels and deals all the time that nobody knows about, and then just present it as a pretty little package for the president to accept. So those people are so important, okay? Anybody else? Now that you've heard these people, do you now have an aspiration and you want to answer that question? We need more women. We need more women of all ages and all backgrounds and all lifestyles. Yes. Okay. This is going to be fun. She's my people. I, I, I have one thing to say about age, and Peggy has some really good reasons why she's made her decisions, but I just wanted to say the entire country last year decided that they were satisfied with a president in one of the most powerful positions in the world who was over 70. And if Bernie would have been elected and gotten two terms, he would have been into 80 as the president of the United States. So no matter who you, who you voted for, everybody in the country was comfortable with somebody in their 70s. So I, it, it, it means that I do not have to be relegated to flipping hamburgers when I am 75. When I was 50, I started having my own birthday parties. I had it at 50. I had one at 60 when I had 70. And so at 70, I found this great sketch of a woman that was kind of reclining. And I, the theme was 70 is a new 19. So in January, I'm having my 80th birthday that I'm giving for myself. And I decided 80 is a new 29. And I decided we all need an invite.
invite to her party. <laughs> so, because um, I just think that would be way too much fun. Uh, I think that's a what happens at the party stays at the party kind of party. So, okay. <laughs> Let me get to my third question here. So, my third question for us was, what is one thing that we hope to get out of today's session? Oh. Those of us that are here, some of us, I heard a place to start, right? Okay. What is something else that maybe we want to get out of today's session? Or, or why you came? Well, the thing I would like to get is hope. And what I find is when you get a bunch of women in a room, you get ideas, you get energy, you get the feeling that, yes, I can. Be bold as I tell my students. <laughs> Confidence. Excellent. Power. Horrible 
um, situation of domestic violence and, and how complicated 